Hello, this is Julian with Coffee Reviews, and today we will be discussing the Ethiopia Chantawini Natural from Onyx. And there's the box right there. All right, let's talk a brief bit about this coffee. So I had this exact same coffee just in a wash processed earlier. I've already done a review of that, so if you haven't checked out that video, then you should check it out after this one. That was one of the most interesting cups, boxes, bags of coffee I've had in a very long time. Got some very unusual flavors from it. This one right here was a little bit more normalized for a natural Ethiopia. Some very wild and good flavors that was coming from this coffee. One of my favorite coffees of the year, and I'm going to compare it to a coffee at the end of this video to kind of show you where I saw this coffee relative to its competitors. And that being said, this, video, this coffee was also featured in my blind taste test video. And it finished right in the middle of the pack between a couple of other onyxes, a Luna and a Camber. And while I was making that video, this coffee did really open up as it cooled down. And I was tempted to move it to first place, but I didn't want it to appear that I was being biased or that I was cheating in any sort of capacity because I really enjoyed the flavors that was coming through. This one was just a little bit more citric than the other one, which was a little bit more floral. But it was such a great cup of coffee and I'm gonna talk about why right now. Day six, wasn't quite there yet, some soft florals matching a bit of fruit, but nothing overly prominent. Day eight, the tropical fruits were very prominent, great strawberry and citrus coming through, very funky flavors. And this is day 16. It smells like uh, maybe strawberry liqueur, if you can smell it on the nose, very interesting. Uh, day 10, not quite as bold and vibrant, fermented strawberries. The strawberries are so strong in this and uh, quite a bit of citrus in the background. Day 11, still really wild, almost tasted like the smell of a tree, maybe like the tree sap. It was very sweet, uh, strawberry very high, interesting tropicals, probably some orange and pineapple. And then day 14, when I made the tasting wheel, still a super wild cup of coffee with mixed fruits, lots of pineapples, mangoes, and of course, strawberry. I will go ahead and put up the tasting wheel right now. And as mentioned before, I was kind of waffling back and forth between a couple of these ratings. I settled on putting the sweetness as high as possible, the berry and the citrus as high, high as possible. Very sweet cup of coffee, I've highlighted that a lot. Strawberry is very high and quite a bit of citrus. Very strong, lingering finish. And a little bit of florality, some very nice florality on there as well. Other things I wanted to highlight, of course, this is a natural Ethiopia, so it's not going to be the cleanest cup of coffee, and it certainly wasn't, not the most amount of body. And just a tiny bit of smokiness to contrast all those other fruits and florals that were in this cup. This right here is probably one of my top three favorite Onyx coffees of the year. It was a great coffee, especially when it hit its peak. One of the best coffees, and I would put it up against pretty much any coffee I think I've had this entire year. Excellent altogether. What I wanted to compare it directly to is the Chantawini Natural I had from Manhattan Coffee Roasters in Rotterdam. Now, I actually preferred that coffee, and I think in a head-to-head -head battle, that coffee was one of my favorites because it was a, it was just straight fruits, whereas this had some other interesting stuff to it. Those were the types of fruits I like, Bear, uh, blueberry, cherry, strawberry. So this right here is probably my second favorite Chantawini of the entire year, which is still really high praise for this coffee. And I'm not sure if Manhattan still carries that uh, Chantawini natural. But who would I recommend this cup of coffee to? Um, onyx lovers, uh, first time onyx triers, natural lovers, so many people that this coffee goes straight into the recommend category for. I think the only person I don't recommend this to is the modern, yeah, well, people that don't like modern and fruity coffees. This right here is going to be a very strong coffee for your palate. It's just gonna hit you with a lot of very interesting and wild fruits, fermented fruits, and I know some people don't like that, but it was quite enjoyable for me, and so many people, I think, really enjoy this coffee from the people I've discussed this coffee with. I'm gonna leave it at that. That last tip was very interesting again. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you're enjoying the content, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And this right here has been a discussion of the Ethiopia Chantawini Natural from Onyx. Thank you for watching.